the root mean square value of the current IT in the circuit shown below is. This is the circuit and we are required to find out the RMS value of this current and there are four options given in the question and I want you to pause this video and have a look at this circuit and then we will move on to the solution. I hope you are done. Now let us understand how we can have the RMS value of current IT. The step number one is to have this circuit in the frequency domain. IT will have the phasor I phasor and uh, we are interested in finding out I phasor and the voltage it is 1 sin T in phasor it is equal to 1 angle 0 degree we are writing the phasor corresponding to the maximum value resistances will remain as it is here in place of 1 farad we will have negative of J XC here instead of 1 Henry we will have J XL let's find out XC we know it is equal to 1 over Omega C from here we can see that Omega it is equal to 1 and C is also 1 so XC it is equal to 1 and XL we know it is equal to Omega L Omega is 1 L is also 1 so XL is 1 and uh, we can say that here we will have negative of J and here we will have J this means this capacitor is offering the reactance of negative J ohm and this inductor is offering the reactance of J ohm and together they will offer the impedance equal to negative J plus J which means 0 ohm and in simple words we can say that this branch is not going to offer any obstruction to the current flow and therefore at this node current IT will decide to flow entirely through this branch and therefore no current will flow through this branch now we can apply KVL in the outer loop we will have plus V phasor then we will have minus 1 multiplied to I phasor minus 1 multiplied to I phasor equal to 0 from here we can say that I phasor it is equal to V phasor and V phasor is 1 angle 0 degree so I phasor corresponding to the maximum value is equal to 1 angle 0 degree this makes this one I maximum and we know that the RMS value is equal to the maximum value divided by root 2 we know the maximum value therefore we can have the RMS value very easily so the RMS value of the current is 1 over root 2 amperes option B is the correct option this is all for this question now we will move on to the homework problem in the homework problem you are required to find out the phasor voltage VAB this is the phasor voltage and this is the circuit try to solve this question on your own and you will get the link to the solution in the comment section and also in the description